Hello, Mercy Ships Cargo Day partners around the world. It's my pleasure to be with you here today. I'm Bryce Wagner, the Executive Director of Mercy Ships Global. Uh, first off, I want to talk to you a little bit about past, present, and future. Past, what have we done together? I want to start by thanking all of you who have been involved with us in Mercy Ships Cargo Day in the past few years. We have received over $3 million in, in cargoes, in commissions, in support of you and our other partners around the world. And that has been huge. It's helped us to make a difference in the lives of people like Pierre. Pierre, when Pierre se relève donc pour recommencer à marcher à nouveau, je vois comment le genou est tordu. En ce moment-là, je n'étais pas à l'aise. Je me disais que mon enfant est déjà handicapé. J'ai entendu parler de mes chez par ma sœur. Me dit donc que je vais te voir ici avec l'enfant. Prends Pierre et prends le chemin. J'arrive ici. When we're able to provide them with the, the surgery, when we're able to straighten their legs, we start to see a transformation that takes place, and we start to see a little twinkle come back in their eye. Pierre has a smile on his face because of you. Present, where are we at today? We all know this world has turned a bit upside down this year. Um, we've never seen a time like this where we've had a global pandemic that is touching all nations, all cultures, all economic levels. It's interesting because right now around the world, there is a heightened understanding of what it means not to have access to an ICU bed or to medical care. We're feeling what our brothers and sisters have been dealing with for decades in Africa. It's interesting too that when I look at our healthcare systems and how COVID is affecting different nations, the nations that are flattening their curve the quickest are the ones that have a strong healthcare delivery system. And it's interesting because that's what we do in Africa. It's what we've been doing for decades helping Africa to build their healthcare delivery systems so they can deal with situations like this. They still aren't there. They still are having challenges. There's a lot more for us to do, and that's why we need to persevere on together with Cargo Day to help even more people in Africa, to help develop more our healthcare delivery systems. These nations need a lot more training. They need more help. We're building a new ship that's gonna be a training platform so that we can continue to help the nations in Africa develop sustainable, solid healthcare delivery systems that meet all aspects of their population, even the poorest of the poor. This is why we need your help this year. We are, we are preparing, we're looking at the future. How are we gonna go back and continue to help Africa? Your support, your commitment, your partnership this year in Merships Cargo Day will help us not only increase healthcare delivery systems, setting a sustainable platform for the future and any other pandemics that may come, but it is also continuing to help us deliver life-saving surgical interventions for people like Pierre. I just want to thank you for your partnership. Thank you for what you're doing. And please look at how you can partner with us again this year, more than ever in this COVID season, and, and the impact of COVID around the world, we need your partnership, we need your help, and we are very grateful. Thank you.